Three. All right. There we go. Yay! Yay. Yay. It works. <laughs> it works. Okay. Nice catch. Thank you for the ceremonial ribbon cutting. Look, runners on Woody Lane Pathway. The cars are coming, they can move over. Yay! <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it makes a big difference. All right, here's the song. I found a hostess cupcake on the path on Woody Lane. The packaging looked tidy and intact. What would you do if you were me to lighten up your load, eat it, or throw it in your sack? I am a litter picker, that's how I spend my time. Please my guilty conscience and my woes. Other people help me by throwing out junk and grime. Codependency keeps me on my toes. I have a small conundrum that bothers me a bit. Like one hand clapping in the woods. Do people like a road that's clean? Have grime done cleaning yet? Do they just like all that packaged goods? <laughs> <laughs> When I was uh, 17 years old, I lived in the north end of a drive to Issaquah and Lake Sammamish by way of this road. This was a connector to a shortcut to what was then called Empire Way, which is now part of King Jr. And we would ride, drive very quickly, our 1958 Chevy through here. And so uh, now I live here and I hate fast drivers. And we don't own a car, so now I'm doing this as my redemption. <laughs> so we applied for money, the Department of Neighborhoods. Uh, so I, I started picking up garbage here 10 years ago with my dog Woody. That's a part of the story. And walking along here and there was no edge. And it was dicey and, and hard to walk. So we applied for money from the Department of Neighborhoods. Thanks to Tom Rasmussen's guidance, he sent us to the Department of Neighborhoods, gave us some good names to talk to, uh, really good crew there, and uh, we were awarded $30,000, and before I knew it, they were working out here. They did it kind of on the, under the table, because $30,000 wasn't enough, the project manager didn't even charge for his time. They had the Seattle Conservation Corps to get the equipment, the materials, and they just did it over, over a week's time. So it was a remarkable, magical project, and I'm very happy. Thank you very much, Good. Tom. Well, thank you for your leadership, Andy. We really appreciate you organizing so much of this. It's, it's really great. And I've already thanked everyone once before, but I can't thank you enough. It's really wonderful to see the results, Andy and I. Uh, went on a walk here. It's been a year or two now. Whenever you yes. prior to you applying for the that's right the neighbor to the apartment and neighborhood. So quite a transformation. That's great. Mm -hmm. And I really want to thank uh, Bob Edmondson's uh, help of uh, Seattle Greenways. Give us a word, Bob. So Seattle Neighborhood Greenways is an all volunteer organization of people like yourselves in neighborhoods who are trying to find routes that they can get from point A to point B within the neighborhood to local destinations safely, whether they're walking or biking. So we don't aim to make all streets safe. We just want a few of them safe enough for people of all ages and abilities to get around. So, and part of that, like this is an idea that Andy had to connect Montlake and Madison Valley. And I don't know how many of you know, but the McGilver Elementary School District goes all the way, all the way to 23rd and all the way down to Boyer. So all the kids who live on the other side of Woody Lane here had literally no safe way to walk to school. They had, if they wanted to walk or bike, they'd have to go down this road with cut through traffic and it just wasn't a good scene. So this is, this path here is a huge step forward in terms of enabling safe routes to school programs by making a safe route to school. Now we're just going to bike lane through the Arboretum. So. Oh yes. Oh, that's coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I'm with, you. I'm with you on that. We'll, we'll work on that too. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it reminds yeah. me, um, 
I grew up in the east side in the Lake Hills and, and uh, Eastgate area, and my walk to elementary school, Sunset Elementary, was through the woods. Oh. You know, it was just along a little path. Uh, it was about uh, a mile long or something like that, and it was really pleasant to, to take that mm. from our house to the school. We had school patrols along the way. I don't know what they're protecting us against. There were no bears there or anything like that. I guess just so we wouldn't throw litter or fall down the hill or something like that. But it was always a nice, we always walked to school. Yeah. yeah. That was great. And it's nice to have safe routes, walking routes, or biking routes for kids to schools. And, and the Neighborhood Greenways is a wonderful grassroots organization that's really made having an impact on the city and its priorities for transportation, for pedestrian, and bicycle improvements. Thank you. Local knowledge. Yeah, well, yeah. It's yeah. the local knowledge that makes well, it work. It's the um, it's the people in the neighborhood who know the neighborhood the best, and they really know. I think usually the best solutions, the best ideas, that, and the best options that the city should pursue to solve you know issues and problems. And and that's one of the the responsibilities I feel like I have is to make sure that the department listen to the community, to the public. Take all of that input before they make decisions. All right, we have a ribbon. We we do. Did you find a ribbon? So did I, you I want did. To go down there yeah. And, uh, all right, we're gonna get yeah, back it. to it. Two, three. All right. There we go. Yay! 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 Okay. Excellent. Thank you for the ceremonial ribbon cutting. Thank you.